serving southern New Mexico, this is the award-winning KRWG-TV News 22, where news matters. COVID-19 has been unpredictable, forcing every major event to get creative. Entertainment is now provided by those who think outside the box. Our very own Emanuel Esparza reports. Eddie Morelos is responsible for keeping one of the Sombol's oldest traditions alive in the middle of a pandemic, El Paso's Thanksgiving Parade. I am the media relations director for the Sombol Association. I actually attended uh, about two parades before I joined uh, the organization, uh, just as a spectator, as a photographer, and, and uh, you get about 200,000 people uh, lining the, the three mile uh, route that goes down Montana. Three miles of sidewalk that won't be filled with crowds for the first time in decades due to social distancing measures. And this being such a tradition of 80 plus years, we got to figure something out. We, we you know, and uh, uh, just popped in the head of why don't we film different parts of our parade and, and edit it and, and show it on TV. Idea that was accepted all around the organization while showing his interns that innovation is part of the job description. Not only do we have spectators that show up on Montana, but there's millions of spectators that watch it on TV as well. So I think it was really inventive of Eddie to just all kind of come out, hey, let's do a virtual parade. However, Eddie explains this is not the first time this tradition goes through change. At one point it was a run uh, the week leading up to the football game. And at some point down the line, they, they changed that tradition and started hosting it on Thanksgiving morning. And since 1978, El Paso has had a parade on Thanksgiving Day. And this year won't be the exception. The tradition will still be there. The difference is you won't be sitting on Montana. The Sumble Association, along with the world, hope for things to get better next year so Eddie can go back to a normal Thanksgiving parade. Make sure the horses don't uh, get spooked. Uh, to uh, moving floats, to, I mean, just anything and everything, wherever they, I'm needed, uh, I will uh, definitely help out. For News 22, Emanuel Esparza. Serving Southern New Mexico, this is the award-winning KRWG-TV News 22, where news matters.